Hi everyone, I'm Jim Hummel here with your KETC News Brief for Monday, August 10th. Suspended Lafayette City Marshal Brian Pope will have to do more community service. Judge Jules Edwards ruled that Pope was supposed to avoid further criminal conduct while on probation, but says he didn't do that. The judge cited Pope's re-election bid when he signed a document under oath stating that he was qualified to run when in fact he owed outstanding ethics fines and wasn't registered to vote. That constituted filing and retaining a false public record, according to the judge. The judge ordered Pope to serve two more years of probation, including 173 hours of community service with at least eight hours of service each month. Now the judge said that you lied to him twice on the stand. Do you feel like you did? I mean, I didn't, no, I didn't lie to him. I wouldn't, he kind of, I just got tripped up on the other words. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? I know that you're gonna have to start your community service all over again. I'll do what I have to do to make it right with him. Now to the big takeaways from the state's updated coronavirus numbers. The Department of Health says today's reporting appears to be incomplete and is potentially affecting case and test counts. The state is reporting only 562 new cases and 24 new deaths. Meanwhile, a fourth Louisiana child has died from multi-system inflammatory syndrome associated with COVID-19. LDH says it's seeing an increase in those cases among people 19 and younger. Some good news to report out of Acadia Parish where Crowley Mayor Tim Monso is back at home after being hospitalized with COVID-19. Mayor Monso says he will remain in quarantine at his home for the next few weeks before returning to City Hall. He also encouraged people to wear masks and socially distance when in public. New developments about Lafayette's sales tax revenue. According to City Council Chairman Pat Lewis, sales tax collections fell only 21% during the stay-at-home order, and he says June's sales tax collections were higher than those in June of last year. Mayor President Josh Guillory's proposed budget is based on a predicted 27% drop in sales tax collections because of the pandemic. Lewis says Guillory's assumptions are creating, quote, false pressure to cut programs, close rec centers, and lay off employees. On the rebound, you can now register for a webinar series that will help you set up an online store. We have that posted for you over at KETC.com slash rebound. And let's get a check of the weather now from Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, Jim. And weather-wise, a repeat of our Monday, except we're going to see a few more afternoon showers and thunder showers across the area. Rain chance at about 30% for today. Rain chance is creeping up to a pretty good chance, especially for Thursday, Friday, but they could tone down for the weekend. And then going beyond that, it looks like the heat stays on and could be even hotter and rain chances perhaps dropping for a little bit as we head into next week. That's it for weather. Stay with KTC, KTC.com and social media for the latest.